Alright guys, so I'm back with another video tutorial, a little bit more on the UI side of things today. Um, we did do a recent video there where we changed, our, we personalized our health bar basically um, with images. As you can see, the little damage test here, we have a little background and a different style of a um, health bar. Well, as you can see, um, I'll just go into it here again. It's very, you know, it's snapping to its value. So it's taking 0 0.25 off each time and snap into that value. Let's interpolate things, okay? So to interpolate it, all right, um, let me just minimize this. We'll, we'll go back into it anyway, but we'll double click and we'll open up our hood. Um, we'll go to the get percent, where we obviously um, created a binding for our progress bar. And we basically binded the health bar um, to, the, to the percentage. Pretty much, okay. And it's not much we have to do here to interpolate it. It's really easy, okay. And um, we just uh, have to create another variable, okay. So there's variables. We'll create a variable. I'll just call this um uh health health on display. <laughs> uh yeah, why not health on display? Cool. And then I'll compile that. Make sure yeah, it's a float, okay. And I'm gonna basically just get it. Sorry, I'm going to set it first. Join it up here like so. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lerp. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get a lerp. And a lerp basically allows us to um, distinguish the time of how it goes down or goes up, etc. Okay. So um, let me just change this. So I want health to go into the B value and I want to get um, health on display and I want that to be our A value. And let's interpolate it by 0 0.1, okay? So there, oh, 0 0.1. And basically it'll, it'll slow it down and it will just slide down to 0 0.25. Check this out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's join this up here as well. Let's press compile, let's press play. See, even the way it filled up there, it was more smooth. See that? It's just fallen down now. It's nice and smooth. There you go. There you go. Okay, pretty easy to do, guys. All right. So basically, just create a variable, health on display, make sure it's a float, set it, and then get your heads on display, get your health that you already had, and then put them into the A and B values of the LERP. It's pretty good. You can change it here as well. I mean, let's also, if I just go to my damage test, where's my damage test when I need it? There it is. I'll take away 0 0.15, let's take away, yeah? So we'll just see the more smoother transition. See that? And it just slides down nice and easy. And that's pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. Please like and subscribe for more uh, videos for Unreal Engine 5. Good luck in your game dev journey.